Hey, Craig here. So anybody who's watching my previous video where I was uh, machining the upright for the paper towel holder knows that I was having trouble with uh, deep drilling, uh, with uh, basically chip welding and the, the uh, drill bits breaking off. So, as you can see here. So, I read a bunch of the comments. I appreciate all the comments. So I'm going to try some of those uh, suggestions. I guess one of the big ones was actually to try pecking deeper. So what I actually did was uh, I'm gonna the first attempt I'm gonna do on this is actually straight out of uh, G Wizard. I didn't actually realize this, but G Wizard actually uh, recommends peck depth. Uh, I always try to just put in the peck depth and see what the suggested uh, feeds and speeds are. But if you go to if you put in the full depth you want to go it'll actually recommend the peck depth and uh, in this particular case it was recommending 0.11 peck depth. Uh, I'll go into the feeds and speeds a little further. Uh, also I got, uh, I'm not sure if this can make any difference, but I got a, a chip, clear, chip clearing uh, drill bit. So I'm gonna try that. That was uh, from McMaster Car and uh, a little more expensive, uh, but we'll see how they do. Okay, I'm going to try doing this using the conversational in path pilot. Uh, I already did that for the uh, spotting for the drill. Now I'm going to do the, the drilling itself. Um, title, work offsets 54. Tool, I'm going to use tool 50, uh, 35. Enter spindle RPM. And I'm going at 6400 feed rate of 11 that's right and Z clear I'm gonna put uh, 50 thousandths or 500 thousandths half an inch and Z start is going to be zero Z end is going to be half an inch 0.5 enter dwell I don't need dwell my peck uh, based on G wizard is going to be 0.11 enter I've already got my X and my Y entered in here and I think that's all I need let me post a file oh. Status. Go back to conversational. We got this has to be negative. Negative. Point five. Enter. Pack twelve. Z start zero. All right. Post to file. Say save. All right. Now I know one uh, viewer had recommended using. Uh, chip break instead of uh, deep drilling. Sorry, I don't remember uh, who it was, but uh, I'm not really sure what type of cycle this conversational is using. I don't see whether it says clip, uh, chip break, or full retract. So, I don't know. We'll uh, see what happens. Okay, well that certainly went fast. Wow. Also, uh, I used a lot more coolant before I had the, the the head way up high, so it wasn't getting down on it, and I had it turned way down. So, so I'm not sure what exactly was the major cause for the the major reason it drilled so much better. Maybe a combination of everything. The uh, the chip clearing drill bit. Also, I think the uh, the uh, peck depth was an important part of that. All right. Well, again, I want to uh, thank all the uh, all the people in the all the people who commented on the uh, previous video. Okay. So just to see whether the coolant plays a big factor in this or not, I'm going to try and do this exact same thing, but with uh, no coolant at all. Not even. Uh, well, maybe I'll do an air blast, and I'll turn the. Uh, 
the coolant off completely. As you hopefully could have seen, there actually was some chips stuck in the flutes here. Uh, they weren't necessarily welded on there, but they were kind of stuck in there. So I think the uh, that may have caused a problem over time. So probably better to do it with the uh, with the coolant. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. This time with a partial retract. I uh, pre-drilled the holes. I had to do this in Fusion 360 to get the uh, partial retract. Well, the chip breaking seemed to work also, uh, but unfortunately the fog buster didn't um, start up on time. I didn't have any coolant coming out. Uh, there's a bit of a chip weld on the back, on one of the back here, um, but that could have just been because of the uh, not having the, the coolant, so the, the misting. So, all right. Okay, I made a new upright. I've got the the. Uh, spotting done on here. I'm going to drill in holes with the uh, new feeds and speeds and with the uh, coolant on full blast and we'll see how it goes. Okay, well I probably didn't have to have the cooler on quite that high, but I uh, wanted to make sure I got this done after uh, ruining some of the other ones, so see how it turned out. Looks like it turned out pretty good. I just need to make one more of these. I was going to try and tap it on here, but I actually don't have a 632 collet for the uh, te ten tension compression tapping head. I don't even think I actually have a, a, um, a tap. So, right? I'll, yeah, I'll have to tap these later. So, anyways, yeah, now I'm going to move on to the base after this, all right? Well, if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, there should be a subscribe button up there. Also, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, there should be a Patreon link up there.